In today's video, we find out what happens when Io meets the Seven. This is on another level though. This time we've got seven sentries and even Io guards. So the battle is gonna be absolutely crazy between both sides. In the past, we've seen them meet. The first sighting was during the season eight event. <laughs> Uh oh. And then the day that Gunner got added into Covert Cavern, we actually made him go all the way over to the Sanctuary to meet Foundation for a crazy battle. But this time, we've taken it to a new level. Io versus the Seven. If you guys are new around here, roughly 98% of you guys that watch these videos aren't subscribed. So tell that subscribe button. Let's try and get to 450,000 subscribers. So the plan for today's video was to grab the Foundation and his Seven Sentries and take them over to the location of Covert Cavern. Covert Cavern was the brand new POI which was added in. So I circled the location of the Sentries and Foundation and located the Covert Cavern Gunner and his Io boss. So the first thing we've begun to do is to build a giant tunnel across the map and you can see a little bit of a replay footage of the tunnel which we built. This took us about an hour to build the tunnel and get it perfect how we wanted it and this would lead them to the Covert Cavern location by fishing rodding the foundation and his seven centuries down this tunnel into the Covert Cavern in the two hour period which Battle Labs gives you. It's a shame that it's two hours if it was longer we could definitely get even more people in this location. But you can see building the tunnel took a very very long time. From the gameplay you can see in the background this went on for ages and eventually we got to the end of the tunnel and we had it constructed and it was time to move foundation so once we got foundation inside of the tunnel we just simply fishing rudded him down the tunnel i say simply but really it wasn't this was probably the most inefficient method i have ever done on the channel for moving bosses and that's only because fortnite haven't added the bosses into all the other loot modes on battle labs fortnite if you're watching this please add the bosses into other loot modes on battle labs they used to be in other loot modes so please consider adding them back I honestly don't know why they're not in the other loot modes because all it does is change the loot. It doesn't change anything else in the game. Eventually, after about 20 minutes had passed, we got Foundation to his location and he was over at Covert Cavern. Now, we had a few problems during this game. Covert Cavern was actually receiving earthquakes and the earthquakes were damaging our tunnel. Here's some footage previously from an earthquake in a previous game, just so you can see what they're like. It's crazy to think that Fortnite now has earthquakes going on. Just look at the walls and everything being damaged and imagine our tunnel in here and suddenly an earthquake appears. Yes, not good. Not good at all. We had a lot of repairing to do on the tunnels, but luckily enough, the earthquake wasn't too bad it only triggered once and it was pretty crazy my screen started shaking cracks started happening in the road and the whole area started getting destroyed look at them trees over there just getting completely taken out by the earthquake yeah absolute awesome to see Fortnite adding these into the game it was a little cool addition i just wanted to put in today's video it was awesome to see the road beginning to crack and this area going crazy also shout out to the people on screen for helping in today's video without you guys this would not have been possible the earthquakes did cause foundation to escape once from inside of the tunnel you can see Luckily enough, we managed to follow Foundation and he went towards a corner where no IO guards were or no gunner boss was located. And it was kind of nice. We just kind of trapped him in this little tunnel. Everything was damaged and we were set to go. So next up, what I did is I landed back in and went straight to the tunnel, which we had just built for Foundation. And because we were placing walls behind Foundation where he wouldn't go back or he'd kind of like stop going backwards because he had to break the wall, I had to clear all the walls that we placed. So this itself took a very, very long time to do and probably took me around a total of of 20 minutes to clear all of the walls which we just placed it was very important that we did this though so then we could bring the seventh century down here and bring him to the location of covert cavern so after around i'd say 20 minutes this was all ready to go and we had a really short period of time to get that seventh century across the map so we ended up grabbing one of the sentries from the location by tilted the ones by camp cuddle didn't spawn in but that's okay the method was working quite nicely and we had the sentry moving along pretty fast we only had a short period of time remaining around 14 minutes left but that was was okay i knew that we could pull this off we always try our best to succeed so we did our best and we got the seventh century to the location and had exactly one minute or so left if we had more time we definitely could have grabbed more centuries because we only had a limited time period in battle ups and they reduced the time from four hours to two hours uh, sadly we can only move a few bosses in that short period of time if it was four hours yes we could have got four five six centuries but that's okay we got our century in the location and it was time to jump in to the fight Switching over to the replay, as always, we've got our location of the gunner and the IO boss moving in to the location of Foundation and their 7th century. Inside of the drill, inside of the corner on the right side, the gunner and the IO boss slowly approached towards the tunnel. Now, inside of this tunnel was where Foundation and the 7th century were holding up behind these walls, so they couldn't escape. We were pretty much set and Gunner was moving in nicely. We had an IO guard moving in and the other IO guards were also approaching from all sides 
of Covert Cavern. You can see Gunner and Ayo first off going straight in, trying to break through our walls. I'm holding them off the best I could while my team got the actual foundation and the 7th century ready to go. They were still in the corner, so we were just fishing running them over as this was taking place. All happening at the same time. The IO Guard was the first to get involved. The walls come down, the IO Guard breaks through, and there they are, the location of our team and to the left of them is the foundation and the seventh century they are in this corner over here the io guard approaches straight off you can see he is ready he is looking with his shotgun he's currently targeting on our team but as soon as the century hits him he turns and goes for the foundation and the seventh century hitting them with the shotgun trying to get as much damage as possible right here but his shield already gets crapped by the foundation and the seventh century working together as a duo team they take down the io guard and one goes down still two remaining there the seventh century goes for a little bit of a walk for some reason and she decides to go and scout out where the location of Gunner is and the other IO guards. The IO guards are situated inside of the cabin but she doesn't know. She's not from around here. So you can see that Gunner and the IO guards begin to approach from this right side over here. Gunner is already targeting on to the 7th century right here. Gunner still aiming in on our players as we begin to bait him in slowly. But you can see the 7th century is ready. She actually targets onto Gunner and she sees Gunner and she goes for Gunner. As we begin to fish him on Gunner over as he does his charge, she already starts hitting Gunner here, gets 30 damage onto Gunner and Gunner just can't make through. He can't get the right target. He throws a grenade in onto the 7th century, misses the 7th century, still missing a few shots on the 7th century. 7th century still also missing on Gunner. Neither of these are hitting each other. Oh, some good damage going down on the 7th century there. A double 34, only taking 22 and she begins to retreat to towards foundation this is a really good strategy here from the 7th century she moves out and then pulls back towards the foundation knowing that gunner is going to follow her down the tunnel gunner begins to follow down the tunnel he goes in for the huge dash misses the dash and actually hits the wall giving them an advantage and they ambush gunner foundation and the 7th century ambush but a lovely grenade comes in there from gunner which pops both foundation and the 7th century huge damage going off here on gunner from foundation and 7th century he goes in for the charge hits the wall and misses them both again his charge is definitely a weak ability his shield goes down foundation aiming and he does take down the 7th century for the bait which baited him into foundation but he's no match for foundation in this situation on a 1v1 battle foundation definitely has the upper hand he is cracked and foundation still has his shield but a nice little dash attack coming in from gunner straight onto foundation dealing a bunch of damage straight to him but his shield is still down and obviously foundation still has his shield even with the height here gunner gets a good amount of damage on foundation there with a nice rock coming in with nice and foundation takes the elimination on gunner right there but it's not over yet we still have other io guards approaching we have one io guard moving in with his shotgun he comes straight in for foundation goes in with his shotgun trying to get foundation's health down as much as possible misses two shots there actually starts aiming for our team which is not good rock actually goes in with a huge rock and hits the io guard but only dealing a little bit of damage onto him so not enough to deal too much the io guard gets him a little bit close gets a nice little 90 on the foundation but his shield is still up another little damage but only 24 coming in there not close enough with the shotgun the io guard needs to approach a little bit closer to get a lot of damage on Foundation dealt a little bit of damage to Io just then, but then the Io guard actually turns and gets a lovely shotgun shot on the rock, and the rock takes down the Io guard just like that. But that's not it yet. There was still one more Io guard getting fishing running in slowly. It took us a long time to get this one over, but we tried our best. You can see he does take out one of our teammates there, but the fishing rod squad are still here, continuing to fishing rod the location of the Io guard. Rock does miss the Io guard there, still trying to hit it. Rock going in with a huge rock right now. He flies in and misses the huge rock, but doesn't damage himself. Io guard still focused on our teammates and not fully going down the tunnel for the rock yet definitely doesn't see him as a threat right here but suddenly the storm slowly starts to close in and things start to get a little bit more hectic and now you can see the rock actually misses his rock which he missed before but the storm is now closed and you can see the io guard is moving in the best he can it takes a bunch of damage from the rock in the corner but the rock is definitely super low now and he is now taking damage from the storm he still has his shield but the storm is dealing damage to him and he's cracked the shield the io guard does manage to crack the rock shield there which is actually quite impressive but the rock does finish him off with a rock and it looks like it's going to be GG to the 17. And don't go anywhere, guys, because I've built a really awesome project for you guys, which is actually Tomato Head versus Derberger in a food fight map. You guys are going to love this. I spent a lot of time on this, and I'm sure you guys will really enjoy this map. What it is, if you build your own base, and inside of your base, you can then seize the other team. 25 versus 25, you have five minutes to build your base, and whichever team destroys the other food wins. Endless rounds, popping guys, the code is on screen. You guys will love this. Tomato Head versus Derberger. Which team are you? Let me know in the comment section down below. And don't forget to take a screenshot if need be to come back to the code at a later date.